Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools this week. Uh, it's Monday, we usually do a hack job and some tools, new tools, whatever on Mondays. And sure enough, uh, I had to uh, cut this bench up a little bit. I've got a Windsor woodworking bench from Harbor Freight that uh, picked it up at a yard sale. And so I had to drill a couple new holes in it. And the reason was Banggood sent me these really neat clamps. They're kind of like a dog clamp for a woodworking bench, but these are three quarter and they only came in two sizes and the three quarter was a smaller but three quarter is really a standard size for like a workbench for a woodworking bench like a nice one uh, Windsor is uh, about five eighths and they come with pins and things so you don't really want to enlarge in the holes you have but there were two holes that did not exist on this end of the bench so I thought well I'll go ahead and drill a couple of holes and that way we can get to the tools we want to talk about today <laughs> yeah so I'll just show you a short clip of my mess drilling holes and then we'll get back right back to uh, we're going to talk about this and uh, and these guys. Oh yeah. So here's the uh, two, two new holes that I drilled. And this is, you know, how I did this or decided on this was a couple of things. This, this corner here is dead. There's nothing going on over here. Man, that's still a little rough. <laughs> and what I did was I lined up, tried to line these up to here. Now these holes are not square lined up with the workbench, which is kind of a shame, but just makes a statement about quality from Harbor Freight, I guess, or something. But it's still a decent workbench. I do like it. Uh, it has inspired me for my woodworking a little bit. And now, these are something I really thought would be really cool to have around the shop. What I didn't realize was these are three quarter inch. And like I said, this is the smaller of the two sizes that are offered at Banggood. And they have a great, terrific price on these. They're really cool. And I'm gonna take a good, good look at these things because uh, they have like a little lift cam that makes, it's real easy to lift the cam to get this to push down. And I'm just gonna take a piece of lumber here that's uh, got some holes drilled in it. That's nice. <laughs> and you can drop these into your workbench once you have three quarter holes. <clears throat> and really easily just pull these up like that and lock, you know, lock them. This thing is now, you know, absolutely, here I can move the bench around, you know, I mean, they're locked. They're locked in nice and tight. And that's, so that's a great item. And I'll give you a link to them, to where you can find these things at Banggood. They have a pretty good price. They've had them on sale a few times. So if you get them on sale, you can get them for, you know, really dirt cheap price. The other thing they have, and I was kind of interested in it, so they sent it over to me because I kind of begged for it a little bit. You know, I hate doing that, but is this little guy right here. It's a little chamf chamfer planer. Uh, it's... You know, the, the router can do most of the tricks that this thing can do, but this is by hand, and a lot of times something like this just sort of, you know, makes the day go by nice with a small piece of wood where you don't need to set up a whole router to just make a little tiny cut or something. And I really like the way it's, the, these planers work because uh, in this case, this is actually, uh, unfortunately, this this is a, a it happened thing, but uh, I cut this piece of wood for our project coming up, which is our TV cabinet that we're working on. And this is just a cover up where two pieces of uh, wood are joined. And the thing was with the cabinet, it has, you know, small chamfers in the cabinet. And I like to duplicate whatever a cabinet has, even if I'm adding a little piece like this. So something like this, I thought would be great because you could just, you know, run down it like that and uh you know and 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 chamfer it so now first thing this is this tool is pretty awesome it actually has six straight blades and six one eighth uh i guess we'll call them radius uh blades in it it only appears to have three blades but what it is is you can turn the you can undo the blade here and turn it around the thing is this is uh a lot better price 
than the ones I'm seeing out there. Some of them are, are ridiculous, like, you know, hundreds of dollars, such as the, uh, I believe it's called Woodpecker. They have one of these uh, that they show, and it's, it's a nice machine, but this one here, I really like it better. It has a scale, so you can show the depth of the bite of the blade. The uh, three blades, like I said, can be interchanged. You can take this, and they give you a little screwdriver, loosen this off right here, and turn it, you know, 180 degree, and get the other profile, the, you know, the uh, 1 8 radius, if that's what you need. Or if the blade's getting dull, you could turn it around and just use the other side. So it's actually four, you know, sides to each of these blades. But you have, so it sort of totals out to six blades is what it does. And you've got an extra blade that's stored in the, right here in the back of this, you can undo this little knob, and behind it is the third mystery blade, if you're wondering where it's at, it's, it's in there. And also this here, which once you set a depth, you can lock it or loosen it this way, so that this doesn't back off or some weirdness on you when you're working, you know, with what you got going on here. Now, right now, I don't have either one of these set deep enough for the chamfer, and really what I want, because of the cabinet, is probably just a 1 8 uh, just a little 1 8 chamfer on each of these. So what I can do is I can put these in these little dogs right here, clamp this up, and we can go ahead by hand and just add the, add the 1 8 chamfer in using this. So that is really what this is about. And I, again, I can look at the scale and I can dial this down to you know where I want that blade to uh, hit or how much chamfer I want. So it's a really neat tool. Price-wise, if it's on sale, it's less than a third of anybody else's, and it's still a very good tool. It's good quality, you know, good tool. I don't have any doubts in my mind about it. Now, I'm just going to set this thing by eye right now which is probably gonna be a disaster, but yeah, you know, and then I'm just gonna run across here, make a pass, and there she goes. And she just took a little bit off, which is what I just set her for. There you have, we have a little, you know, one eighth of an inch radius curve over the edge now. D don't mind the, uh, the mess here. This is, uh, was stained for a, uh, an experiment just to see what the stain would come out like. And it was a bit of a disaster, which, you know, is typical. Apparently, we're going to paint the cabinet is what's going to happen. But, and then you have a nice ball of, uh, you know, the fluffy stuff. So, cool. Focus. Focus. There's the, <laughs> there's the radius I just cut with that little uh, hand uh, cham uh, chamfer planer. And put a little 1 8 uh, radius on it. Looks pretty good. Use good enough for, you know... Good enough for what I need anyways. It just, it just duplicates the profile of the cabinet because it has little, you know, like 1 8 chamfers cuts all over the uh, lumber. And we'll be probably showing that uh, TV cabinet as it, the project comes along. It has been on hold for a couple of weeks because we've had a lot of other stuff to deal with. Uh, clamps, gotta get them. You need to have those, absolutely. If you're a woodworker and you have a woodworking bench, you probably should have a couple of these around just for those days. <laughs> This, uh, give you a link for the clamps, give you a link to this. It's all from uh, that company known as Banggood. And they have uh, scientific tools, they have, they have a ton of everything, but uh, that's where this stuff is coming from. And Banggood is good enough to, you know, send this stuff over to me to review, take a look at it, and check it out. And this piece here is really, it, it really excited me because it was like, man, a little planer like that where you just, you know, take the corners off, like that is so cool. I, I, I got to have one <laughs> you know? and, and add that to my tool collection. These, uh, same thing. It's just nice to have something like that where you can clamp something down when you're woodworking on the bench. So give you links for all this goody stuff. And the only other thing I can tell you about, if you don't like the price you see, Keep an eye on it anyways, because I will be probably furnishing a discount code if I can get one from them. And also, when they have a fire sale, because they do that, they'll have these, you know, fire sales, and they'll sometimes last three days, four days, whatever, and at that point, you'll have an unbelievable price for the thing. Company is real. They do ship the darn stuff to you. They're not like some of this uh, <clears throat> junk that we see on the internet sometimes. And today, that was it for 
hacking and tool review. Now, we've got a draw coming up on Thursday for a welding helmet, and we also have a tool review. Now, the final tool review will be the laser, and at that point, I believe the laser will be going into the draw uh, coming Thursday, I believe, so stay tuned for all that action, right? But in the meantime, thank you for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I guess I'm out of here, over and out.